Is civil, sir. Okay, okay. It's okay, sir. We start, sir. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Very good morning. <coughs> Today's um, topic is differential equation. So we are uh, <coughs> starting with a basic concept today. Actually, what is differential equation? The equation, the equation involving an unknown function, unknown function and its derivative and its derivatives and its derivatives. So the equation which involves a function, unknown function y, we have x or something like that, and its derivatives, y dash, y double dash, y double dash, etc. So that kind of equation is called a differential equation. Now, in this differential equation, what is ordinary differential equation? What is uh, partial differential equation? So I am um, saying that the function unknown function that the unknown function O is equal to f of x. Here, x is independent variable, O is dependent variable. Whatever the value we give to x, the value of y depends on x. Therefore, this O is dependent variable, this x is independent variable. Suppose this unknown function depends only on independent variable, then the differential equation is called ordinary differential equations. Suppose the same function y is a function of x and t, a function of two variables. Here, x and t are two independent variables. x and two are two independent variables. So therefore, that differential equation is called a partial differential equation. When we differentiate this way, with, with, with this way with respect to x, here there is no partiality, only one independent variable, suddenly we can differentiate. Here, there are two independent variables. So therefore, when we differentiate this with respect to either x or t, here the partiality arises. So that's why, that uh, differentiation is called partial differentiation. Here, I have given some examples of differential equations. So this is ordinary differential equation because y is an unknown function. The dependent variable is y, the independent variable is x. So this is ordinary differential equation. This is also ordinary differential equation. This ever, uh, the, up to the four equations are ordinary differential equation. We come to the fifth one. This is partial differential equation. Here, O is the dependent variable. T and X are independent variables. Okay. So therefore, more than one independent variable occurs, then that the differential equation is called partial differential equations. Okay. Then, <clears throat> order of the differential equations. The order of the differential equation is the highest order the order of the highest derivatives appears in this equation. Okay, so order means what? The order of the differential equation is order of the highest derivative appears in this equation. So what is the highest, what is the order of this equation? One, order is here, two, order is here, three. Here order is two, order is two. So then here order is also two. Okay. So this is the required order of the, the differential equation. Then I am going to uh, tell you about the important thing is solution. Okay. To see that what is uh, independent, what is uh, independent variable, what is dependent variable. The equation, there are two kinds of equations. One is ordinary uh, differential equation, one is partial differential equations. Okay. Then <coughs> Okay. 
the solution solution of the differential equation is simply I can say that this is way of x. That means the solution of differential equation, the solution of differential equation in the unknown function and the independent variable under the independent variable x in the interval in the interval i is the function y of x the function y of x that satisfies the differential equation that to satisfy the differential equation identically for all values of x in the interval minus infinity to plus infinity in the interval minus infinity to plus infinity so this is most important for the solution for the differential equation then solution so the solution of differential equation is nothing but y of x so that the two f x satisfies this equation not only a particular point, it should satisfy all the points of x in the given interval. So therefore, the solution is also uh, important. There are many kinds of solutions that you will see one by one. Now, now I am asking one question is. Yes. Y of x is equal to C1 sine 2x plus C2 cos 2x, where C1 and C2 are arbitrary constants. Arbitrary constants. So, is Y of x a solution of Y of x is a solution of y double dash plus 4y equal to 0. Okay. So this is, you know, that we have to check whether this is a solution of this differential equation. So we have to find that y dash of x, y dash of x is equal to 2c1 cos 2x minus 2c2 sin 2x. Okay, y double dash of x is equal to minus 4 c1 sin 2x minus 4 c2 cos 2x. This is nothing but minus 4 times of again y of x. Y. Therefore, y double dash plus 4y is equal to 0. So, this is very simple, you know, uh, very well that. So here, what I am going to say that this solution is a general solution of this differential equation. Okay, general solution. Now, the particular solution is the particular solution is one of the solution. Let's say very simply, uh, simply saying that one of the solution. Suppose let us take. Let us take C1 is equal to 5 and C2 is equal to minus 3. You will be getting Y of X is equal to 5 sin 2X minus 3 cos 2X. Suppose I am taking C1 is equal to 1. C2 is equal to 0. You will be getting Y of X is equal to sin 2X. Suppose C1 is equal to 0, C2 is equal to 0, you will be getting Y is equal to 0. 
This is the simple differential equation. This equation has a solution. This is the general solution. If you take a particular pair of values of Cn and C2, you will be getting one solution. So therefore, this equation has infinite number of solutions. This equation has infinite number of solutions. The particular solution is any one of the solution is called particular solution. Suppose sir, I have given some examples of particular solutions. Okay, so this is the particular solution of this given differential equation. This is also a particular solution. This is also a particular solution. Okay, so you should know that what is general solution, and this is a particular solution. Okay, again in this uh, general solution, here we, uh, here it looks like a formula, a single formula. So this single formula. From that, we can uh, get many number of solutions by substituting uh, by different values of C1 and C2, we will be getting different solutions. So we can uh, also call it as, this is a single formula for this general solution, for this differential equation. Okay. Now, so this problem has infinite number of solutions. Okay. Then, Determine whether next question is determine whether determine whether this equation y dash power four plus y squared is equal to minus one. Determine whether this differential equation Okay, uh, differential equation has a solution. Determine whether this differential equation has a solution y is equal to x squared minus 1. Okay, see that. This differential equation, O is a solution, suppose for any function, unknown function O of x, O squared is positive, O dash, the whole power 4 is also positive. So therefore, the positive value plus the positive value is equal to minus 1. Whether it is possible, if you take any solution y, if you take any uh, not solution, any unknown function y, definitely that unknown function will not satisfy this equation because this is positive, this is positive, the sum of two positive is equal to minus one, definitely it is not possible. So therefore, therefore, this equation Therefore, this equation has no solution. So, so the answer is no, actually. Whether is it, is it a solution for this differential equation? Answer is no. So, therefore, this kind of differential equation has no solution. The another thing is, suppose, another thing is, consider another equation, the same equation so y dash power 4 plus y squared equal to 0, equal to 0, okay? You consider this equation. What will be the solution of this equation? What will be the solution? Definitely, this is positive. Whatever you take the value y, this is positive. This is also positive. The sum of two positive numbers is equal to zero. What are the possibilities? What are the possibilities? The only possibility is y is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. See that? Here, no solution. So this is not a solution for this differential equation. Here, this differential equation has no solution. No solution. Okay, so now we have three kinds of solutions. Three kinds of solutions. 
differential equation. The differential equation has infinite number of solutions. The differential equation has uh, no solutions. The differential equation has a finite number of solutions. And the solution. So therefore, another question is, I already told that any general solutions will be uh, in a single formula. Not like that. Consider another differential equation. Consider the differential equation. Another consider another differential equation that is nothing but y dash plus y squared is equal to zero. Y dash plus y squared is equal to zero. Okay. What are the solution of this differential equation? See that. Immediately we can say that the same uh, argument, the same argument, the same argument, definitely co is equal to zero is a solution because this is positive. This is uh, the same argument that for uh, y dash, uh, okay, uh, y dash plus y squared is equal to zero because y squared is positive, okay. O is equal to zero because y is equal to zero, uh, uh, y squared is zero, o is equal to zero, y dash is also zero, therefore it is zero. And uh, I can take, Y is equal to 1 by x. Y is equal to 1 by x. Do Y dash is equal to minus 1 by x square. Y squared is equal to plus 1 by x square. Therefore, this is also a solution. So, therefore, this equation has two particular solutions. This equation has two particular solutions. So, therefore, here, any general solution, any general solution, Cannot, cannot always be expressed, always be expressed in, in a single formula, in a single formula. Okay. So always the general solutions cannot be expressed as a uh, single formula. That is most. The next is initial value problem IVP. What is initial value problem? What is initial value problem? A differential equation along with Subsidiary conditions. Conditions on unknown function. Unknown function and its derivatives. And its derivatives. All given all given at the all given at the same value of independent value independent variable so what does it mean that the subsidiary equation in the sense some conditions we have to equal to something when x is equal to something, y does not x is equal to something, when x is equal to something. That x is there, no. That if we have the same value of x, that the equation is called initial value problem. That problem is called initial value problem. For example, I'm telling you that, consider the differential equation y double dash plus y dash, which is equal to some e power x, some e power x, and y of pi is equal to 1 and y dash of pi is equal to 2. See that. This is the differential equation. In unknown is y. Okay. Then independent variable is x. Okay. So these two equations are called, these two equations are called subsidiary equations. Subsidiary equations. Understood. Here, the values 
x is equal to pi, here is also x is equal to pi. pi. So therefore, the subsidiary equations are equations are given at x is equal to pi are given for both at x is equal to pi. So therefore, these conditions are also called initial conditions. These conditions are also called initial conditions. The problem is that this problem is also called initial value problem. Initial value problem. So therefore, the say the x is the suppose we have the same values of x, same values of x. The problem is called IVP. Okay. Then immediately we can say that what is boundary value problem? What is boundary value problem? The same thing. If if the subsidiary conditions are at more than one independent variable, if clear. <coughs> If the subsidiary conditions are are given at more than one, more than one independent variable, okay, then the equation is called then the problem is called boundary value problem. Problem is called boundary value problem. So similarly, we can take y double dash plus 2y dash is equal to e power x. And then the subsidiary conditions are y of, y of 0 is equal to 1. And y dash of 1 is equal to 2. Okay, y of 1 is equal to 2. Here, the, there are two subsidiary conditions. Here, x, the independent variable, here there are two different independent variables, values of independent variable. Okay, so there are, we need, there are two different values of independent variable. We have, therefore, this problem is called boundary value problem. This problem is called boundary value problem. Then <clears throat> standard form. Standard form of the first order differential equations. So this is nothing but y dash is equal to f of x comma y. All first order differential equations will be of the form. This is called the standard form. So then we will discuss one by one whether it is a variable separable, whether it is linear, whether it is homogeneous, or something like that. Okay. So this is nothing but this is the standard form of this is a standard form of first order differential equations. Okay. Now this y dash always appears in the left side of the equation. Okay. The right side of the equation also always can be written as. So the left the y dash is always appear in the left side of the differential equation. This f of x y, this f of x comma y is always can be expressed, always can be expressed as m of x comma y divided by minus n of x comma y. Whatever the function you have in x and y, that will be written as m of x comma y divided by minus n of x comma y. So therefore, this is standard form also can be rewritten as m of x comma y into dx. This is nothing but divided by dx into dx plus n times of x comma y is equal to 0. Okay. So this is a standard form. 
again that also can be written as this this is also called the, the standard form of the first order differential equation okay now we will see one by one suppose this f of x comma y can be written as suppose if this f of x comma y is nothing but m of x y by uh, minus n of x comma y, this can be written as minus p of x into y plus q of x. Suppose that f of x will be like that. Will be like that. Here, this equation is called linear equation. This equation is called a linear equation. Why do you say that it is linear? The standard form is y dash is equal to f of x comma y or otherwise m dx m of x comma y into dx plus n of x comma y into dy is equal to zero. Again, this also can be written as and again this also can be written as y dash plus y dash plus p of x into y. This is equal to q of x. This is equal to q of x. All the things are same. f of x is equal to this. f of x is equal to f of x comma y is equal to y dash. Therefore, y dash plus p of x into y equal to qx. This is also we can, we can be written as this. Then, so this is called the linear equation. This is called linear equation. In general, in general, a naught of x into y plus a1 of x into y dash plus a2 of x into y double dash plus etc etc plus a n of x into y n of y n plus some p of x equal to zero. P of x is equal to zero. So this kind of equation is called that linear equation. This kind of equation is called linear equation. Here, that a naught of x, this is most important, this a naught of x, a1 of x, etc, etc, a n of x, comma p of x, do not need to be linear. That is most important. Here, maybe x square or x square plus 1 or something like that. Here, x power 4 plus x power 5 or something like that. But again, we can say that this is linear equation. So, therefore, the cause of y dash and y, uh, uh, mother the y dash uh, can involve y, y dash, y double dash, y triple dash, all the derivatives can involve, but can be involved. But this a naught of x, a naught of x do not possess do not need to be the linear, to be the linear. That is most important. This is called linear equations. This is called linear equations. Okay. Then one more important thing is if y dash plus p of x into y equal to q of x into y power n, into y power n. This is linear equation. This is y dash of x plus u plus p of x into y is equal to p of x y power n. This equation is called, if the equation is like, like that, then this equation is called Bernoulli's equation. This equation is called Carnot's equations. Okay, this is called Carnot's equations. Here, n is equal to zero, or n is equal to one. This equation reduces to linear equation. Okay, if n is equal to zero, linear equation. If n is equal to 1, again you will be getting y. So, therefore, the same uh, linear equation. Understood? 
So therefore, what is linear? What is Bernoulli? What is linear? What is Bernoulli? Then what is homogeneous? All the equations we are talking from the standard form. Okay. So the standard form in the standard form in the standard form f of x comma y is homogeneous if f of x comma y is homogeneous then this equation is called then this equation is called differential equation is called homogeneous differential equations homogeneous differential equations what is homogeneous what is homogeneous you know that a function of tx comma ty this is equal to f of x comma y so in, in the particular case if then that function f of x y is called homogeneous equations that means so the degree of x and y are same the degree of uh, x and y yeah, are same okay then the degree in x and y are same so this equation is called homogeneous equations Then variable separable equations. That is separable equations. Simply we say that separable equations. Separable equations. Here, if m of x comma y is equal to y of x and n of x comma y is equal to b of y then the standard uh, form becomes a of x into some m of uh, sorry a of x into what is that dx plus b of y into dy is equal to 0 so sub, then automatically taking integration on both sides you will be getting the solution. You will be getting the solution. It's equal to what? Uh, okay, well, the example of the solution, suppose you will be getting a function of x. Here is function of y. Therefore, you will be getting again, it is a function of x and y. It is a function of again, x and y is equal to some constant. Equal to some constant. Okay. So, therefore, this is variable separable. Then, the one more uh, important thing is, Exact differential equation. Variable separable, then exact differential equation. Here, suppose the differential equation m of x comma y into dx plus n of x comma y into dy is equal to 0. When we say that this equation is exact differential equation, if dou n by dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. Dou m by dou y, which is equal to dou n by dou x, if it satisfies, then this equation is called, then this equation is called exact differential equations. Then the equation is called exact differential equation okay then each type of equations we have some method to solve it we have some rules to solve it so the, how the solutions will be okay how the solutions will be so so far what we have seen that what is Linear number two is what is homogeneous 
Bernoulli. Three is homogeneous. Four is separable equations. Five is exact. Okay. So there are these five important uh, um, uh, um, uh, kinds of equations in first order difference equations. Okay. Now, what about the solution of separable equation? What about the solution of the separable equations? Okay. So here, simply already, uh, already told that this is very simple. Integrating a of x into dx plus integrating v of y into dy is equal to some constant c, equal to some constant c, okay? But here, uh, the function of x and the function of y, again, ultimately, you will be getting the function of x and y is equal to some constant, okay? But we, we hope to get y is a function of x. Okay, for solving this, we should get y is a function of x. It is little difficult to find this. So we can find the approximate solution for this differential equation. Okay, then I can say that exact. I can say that. Uh, this is a solution of a separable variable, then homogeneous will come. Suppose, suppose this homogeneous equations, number three, homogeneous equation is which type, so this is equal to, uh, y dash is equal to m of x comma y divided by minus n, this is a general form. So the same uh, degree, so the degree of the variables x and y are the same. Therefore, let us take y is equal to some vx or something like that. You know that. I'm not going to solve it. Simply we are going to discuss y is equal to vx. After substituting it, that is divided by dx is equal to v plus or something like that. If you substitute it, that homogeneous equation, after substituting it, you'll be getting the homogeneous equations in terms of V and X. Then that equation reduces to, then this equation reduces to linear equation. Then equation reduces to linear equation. Okay. So therefore, separable equation, it is very simple. How to solve it? Then homogeneous equation. Homogeneous equations also can be converted into linear equation. So linear equation. How to solve the linear equations? The linear equation is y dash plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. This is the linear equation. Okay. Here you know that. That integrating factor you have to take it. So that is the integrating factor is nothing but i of x y equal to e, integral, e power integral p dx. You know that very well. Okay. So this p of x you have to take it as integrating factor. Then the solution becomes y into e power integral p dx, which is equal to integra integration of y into q of x dx plus c. So therefore, this is the solution of the linear equations. This is the solution of the linear equations. If you derive it, it will take time. So this is a solution. You all uh, know pretty well also that. So this is linear. Then I am coming to Bernoulli. Bernoulli then I am coming to Bernoulli. Bernoulli equation is substituting uh, is that is equal to y into y power moment 
पर नाउ लिस्ट इक्वेशन इजेक्ट सीक्वल टू वही पावर सिंपली कौन में है सेंसर पर वेरी सिंपल ओके सो देवरफॉर यू विल बी गेटिंग आफ्टर सब्सट्यूटिंग दिस यू विल बी गेटिंग द लीनियर इक्वेशन द बर्नोली इक्वेशन रेड्यूसेस टू लीनियर इक्वेशन in terms of inject then we know that how to solve it then we know that how to solve it so therefore how we know that what is linear what is bernoulli what is homogeneous what is separable then the last thing is exact the last thing is exact You know that already we discussed what is exact. Do n by do x is equal to do m by do y. If these two conditions are satisfied, that equation is called exact differential equation. Okay. Then you know that how to solve it. You'll be getting the function c of x comma y is equal to c. So therefore, this is nothing but a solution of Exact differential equation. Okay, that you know. Now, suppose this differential equation is not exact. Suppose this differential equation is not exact. Suppose this differential equation is not exact. What will happen? This do n by do y. Minus do n by do x. Not exact means this is not equal to zero. That is, that is also not equal to zero. So then what we do? This equation is possible to. This equation is possible to transform. Transform into. Exact differential equations. Exact differential equations by multiplying the by multiplying the standard integrating factors. Standard integrating factors. Okay. If it is exact, we know how to solve it. If it is not exact, that the equation is also converted or transformed into exact differential equation. How? That is multiplying some integrating factor of x comma y into m of x comma y plus n of x comma y is equal to That is uh, not m. This is two m by two y minus, uh, or otherwise simply I can write integrating factor of m of x comma y plus n of x comma y equal to zero. That given differential equation is multiplied by some integrating factor. That differential equation becomes exact differential equation. Exact differential equation. Okay. Now, but how to find the integrating factor? That is most important. How to find the integrating factor? If one by n into if one by n into do n by do y minus do n by do x equal to g of x, a function of x only, a function of x only. Then we will take. Then the integrating factor is equal to e power integral p dx p of x into dx. So this is not zero. If you multiply uh, by one by n, 
Suppose you get g of x, a function of x alone, then you have to multiply it by this integrating factor. That so equation becomes that equation becomes an exact differential equation. Number two is if this one by m into this one by m into dou m by dou y minus dou m by dou x equal to some h of y a function of y only then let us take the integrating factor is e power integral h of y into dy okay the another thing is if if the m is equal to suppose if m is equal to y into f of x y suppose it is not in j of x this is this case is also failed then yeah suppose m is equal to y into f of x x y and n is equal to x into g of x y x into g of x y okay then the integrating factor is then i of x comma y is equal to 1 by x m minus y n 1 by x m minus y n okay so therefore these are all the standard integrating factor of the exact differential equation okay Then applications. First order differential equations. What are the applications? Number one. This is Grow and decay problems. Grow and decay problems. Number two is temperature problems. Number two is temperature problems. Falling body problems. Electrical circuits, electrical circuits, and orthogonal trajectories. Orthogonal trajectories. So these are all the applications of first order differential equations. This is, for example, I'm, uh, I'm giving you. There are a lot of applications. Uh, application is there for uh, first order differential. I am going to give one application. The first application: grow and decay problems. Okay, in general, I'm going to tell, I'm not going to take a particular problem. Suppose let n of t denote the amount of substance. For example, population or something like that. The amount of substance. Okay, let n of t be the denote the the amount of substance that is either growing, either gr growing or decaying. Okay. 
decay. Okay, now dn by dt. dn by dt, you know that the rate of change of the rate of change of amount of substance amount of substance with respect to the time t with respect to the time t okay here Uh, I'm going to say that this this time rate of change, uh, this time rate of change of amount of substance is proportional to proportional to the amount of substance amount of substance present amount of substance present the meaning of this okay that means dn by dt that means dn by dt is proportional to n is proportional to n that is again i can write tn by dt is equal to some k times of n some k times of n if it is growing k may be greater than one that is positive if it is decaying this is radius and thus this is proportional now this equation becomes dn by dt minus kn is equal to 0, minus kn is equal to 0, okay, so this is the first order differential equation, this is the standard form also, so therefore this will be solved by using the linear equation, okay, so therefore I am not going to solve it. So this, this kind of uh, situations will be converted into a differential equations that will be solved by using our methods. Okay. So not only that, Newton's second law, not only that, Newton's second law also saying that f is, f is, f is equal to some m into something like that. These are all applications of uh, differential equations. Today I am con uh, concentrating only in the First order differential equation. So far, number so far, what is where we start? What is differential equation? What is differential equation? Number two is what is dependent variable? What is independent variable? Independent variable. Then number three is number three is what is uh, uh, ordinary differential equation? What is partial differential equation? Okay, one by one we see that. Then what is the solution? Then standard form. Then standard form. Standard form we have seen that. What are the differential equations? See that linear. Then Bernoulli. Then homogeneous. Then uh, homogeneous, then uh, separ uh, separable equations, then separable equations, then linear, homogeneous, and separable equations, then exact. Then how the solutions of these equations, how that the applications will be applied. Okay, so uh, I can, uh, I think uh, uh, we can stop now. Sir, thank you, sir.
Okay, stop now. We will uh, ask some question hours and also we will have a time now. Participant, there is any question? Kindly raise your hands. We will give you a chance to ask the question to the our resource person. Participant, there is any question or clarification? Kindly raise your hand or type in the chat box. We will give you a chance to ask the question to the resource person. यार क्वेश्चन केक ले यार केक ले सर ना तो आई हैव गिवन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फर्स्ट आर्डर डिफरेंस इक्वेशन आई हैव नॉट सॉल्व्ड एनी क्वेश्चंस बिकॉज़ ऑफ टाइम कंस्ट्रेंट्स so you should know the structure the skeleton of uh, first order uh, differential equations one more occasion we will uh, uh, discuss the higher orders okay now because, because of time constraints um, i have given uh, this kind only structure only okay any questions um, uh, uh, any questions from audience no sir there is no question okay. Okay. i will check okay. in the chat box as well okay sir explain the application of differential equation to laplace transform ah uh, laplace transform yes Uh, solving differential equation by using laplace transformation that uh, that is only you are asking yes sir yes here we have certain uh, uh, a transformation we have that is laplace transformation that you know that this is equal to uh, laplace transformation of a certain function f of x this is unknown function l of y or something like that l of y okay So this is nothing but zero to infinity e power minus c x uh, <coughs> into f of x dx. This is very simple uh, transformation. Okay. So here, uh, this uh, applying this uh, Laplace transformations, that uh, linear uh, uh, differential equation will be converted in the Laplace form. Okay. Not using any method by uh, Regular method by using this Laplace L of uh, L of y we have L dash of y we have L double dash of y we have. After applying this, that differential equation can be converted into in the Laplace form. Okay, so by using it we can solve it. It is uh, equivalent to solving the differential. Equation. That's all. Hello. Okay, are you con convinced? Any, any other questions? This is one way of uh, solving the differential equations by using Laplace transformation. It's a very simple concept. Nothing else is there. So next question: okay. How to solve fractional order differential equation with the time delay system in MATLAB? MATLAB that is different kind. Okay. Yes. MATLAB is different that we have to look in. I am not concentrating on that. Okay. That that is separate concept. So that uh, there uh, some uh, software is there. MATLAB software is there. Okay, 
you can uh, all the things are simplifying into yes small things okay so by using a matlab so you have to uh, put all the data all the data into the program you will be getting the solution so the no risk no time uh, nothing is there whatever the data you have put it in your software that the software that matlab uh, matlab will give you the result directly okay so this is a software okay sir thank you sir Welcome. finally okay. our head of the department proposed lot of thanks bismillah rahman rahim i deem it a great honor conferred upon me to propose lot of thanks first of all i express my thanks to almighty god for the successful conduct of this two days faculty improvement program a lecture on advances in linear algebra and differential equations i am very much delighted to express my gratitude to the president haji mj jamal mamat bilal sahib secretary and correspondent dr ak kaja najimuddin sahib the treasurer haji mj jamal mamat sahib and the assistant secretary dr k abdus samad sahib of the magnificent management of this esteemed educational institution for their unstinted support for this excellent faculty employment program my thanks are due to the principal dr s ismail maidin for his whole hearted support for this program and my thanks are due to the vice principal and the additional vice principal also my thanks to all the directors it is needless to say that the participation of dr m alhappan hod of mathematics and controller of examinations yadava college madurai has brought great honor to this eminent educational institution his two days lectures are of great value and significance to the academic universe gathered in zoom online platform my words of appreciation and thanks goes to all the staff members of our institution and the other institutions and all the students participants your participation e certificates will be received after 10 days thank you thank you one and all thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you by once again i i want to thank uh, the principal and the management of uh, jamal muhammad college head of the department of math head of the department of mathematics uh, jamal muhammad college and uh, all uh, faculty members for uh, inviting me to come over here um, uh, and uh, i thank um, everyone and thank you thank you very much thank you sir participants feedback form is in the chat box thank you so much